this is FEG1, block 3, session number 5. Topics to be covered are Conversation between student and teacher and conversation that is asking for permission and contracted forms. So these are the topics I am going to cover in today's session. Now let's talk about conversation between a teacher and a student. Now the situation, I will give you a situation first. Suppose the situation is the student has come late. So the teacher is asking that why are you late? First the student has said may I come in sir? And the teacher says yes stand here. Why do you always come late? This is a question and the question mark is there. You have to ask it as a question in conversation. Yes, stand here. Why do you always come late? This is a question. So he says, sir, it is the bus which makes me late. The answer of the student is, sir, it is the bus which makes me late. Then the teacher asks, what time do you leave home? I always, the student says, I always leave home at quarter to eight. Then naturally, the teacher will ask that, how far is your home? He says, it's about three kilometers from here. Then definitely, the teacher will give some suggestion. Now he asks the reason that why the student is late and he asks some more questions that how far is the home and the student replied. After that, what time you get up? The next question is, what time do you get up? Naturally, first the student is late. So the teacher is trying to reason it out that how far is your home, what time you get up, why, why the student is late. So teacher is trying to find out in the conversation the reason. So he asks that what time do you get up now? He said I get up at about 7 a.m. So he says oh that's why you get late and if you get up late then you leave also your home very late definitely. He says, I get up at 7. Sir, I take my breakfast at 7.30. I get up at 7. Leave my house. Take my breakfast at 7.30. So, the nat naturally the teacher is asking, do you offer your prayer? What is the time now? You can make out that 7 is getting up. 7.30 is leaving, taking his breakfast. Le reaching late also. So, don't you offer your prayer? So, the student says, not regularly. So now the teacher is trying to understand the reason of being late. So he says, now he is giving advice. The teacher is giving advice what the student is supposed to do. He says, my dear, it's a bad habit. Change your routine. Always get up early in the morning, offer your prayers and go for a morning walk. The teacher has given a suggestion to the students what is the student supposed to do. And the student's answer is, Sir, there is no park near my house. So he, another suggestion he has given, no problem. You can walk along the street in the morning time. Take breakfast at right time and then leave for school. A good advice is given how to do it. The student says, you are right sir. From tomorrow, I shall never be late. So this is a, an example of conversation between a 
student and a teacher. The polite way of asking the question and the polite way of accepting the suggestions and giving the statements. So this is how the conversation is going on between student and teacher. Now again the teacher is giving the advice. Good thing, good. One more thing keep in mind. When a student said that definitely I am going to be regular. I will be taking your advice sincerely. When he assured the teacher, the teacher said good. One thing more keep in mind. Regularity and punctuality conquer the mountains. The good advice given by the teacher. And the student says thank you very much for your good advice. Can I sit now sir? Yes, of course. So this is a wonderful example of a conversation between a teacher and a student where the teacher asked the reason why the student was late and after finding out the reason, teacher has given a good advice to the student and the student has also accepted the advice gladly and then the conversation ends. So this is how a conversation takes place between teacher and a student. Now the next, this is a conversation between two friends. Now see, what is the conversation between two friends? Mary and I will be driving the van. The situation is that Mary and I will be driving the van. Who will be driving it? Yes, we can do that. Can we borrow the chairs from the lunchroom also? Yes, that would be fine. Just make sure that everything is returned by the Sunday night. Could you drop it off on Sunday night? Now, this is the conversation between two friends. The different situations and they are talking about the different situations. Now, dialogue writing. Now, when you have seen two friends are talking, they are in conversation or a teacher and student are talking, that is a conversation. You are just listening. That is the listening part of it. Now, you have to write a dialogue in which you ask somebody you do not know well for her pen. You want to ask from somebody a pen whom you don't know. How will you do it? How will you ask? How will you write a dialogue when you have to ask for something? Can I have your pen please? Or will it be possible for you to lend your pen to me? This is how we ask. And the other person will say, sorry, right now I am doing my work. It won't be possible. This is a polite way of saying no. Yeah, or the person can say, yes, of course, take it. So This is the conversation between two persons. They don't know each other very well, but you are asking for a pen. A close friend, if you can borrow his or her pen. First situation is you don't know the person and you are asking for something. In the second situation, a close friend and you have to borrow his or her pen. So you will ask your friend, will you please give me your pen? I need it very badly. The friend will say, of course, why not? Take it. And he is a close friend. Offered the pen very happily. And in the first situation, the friend is not, you don't know well the friend. So, the refusal is also expected. So, this is how the dialogue is written. Now, the next situation is a code traveler, whether he can look after your luggage for about half an hour. You are traveling or you are at the platform and 
you have to go and buy a magazine for yourself or a cup of tea or the situation is that you are all you have to use the washroom so you want to request the crew for traveler whether the travel co traveler can look after your luggage for half an hour how will you request so excuse me can you please look after my luggage for half an hour because i need to go to washroom very urgently the co passenger can say sorry i have to catch my train and my train is about to come so i'm sorry i can't do it or maybe the co passenger will say yes yes why not you can safely leave your luggage under my care they'll say thank you very much in both the situations you have to thank so this is about the dialogue writing घूम रहा है आगे पीछे घूमता ही नहीं है ये ठीक से हो गया मैम नहीं अभी है ये है बीच में तो डिस्टर्ब हो गया कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड फॉर्म्स नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड फॉर्म्स कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड फॉर्म्स आर व्हेन यू राइट इट इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स लाइक आई एम सो आई एपेस्ट्रोफी एन एम यू आर the contracted form is you are he is he's she is she's we are we are it is it is not isn't are not aren't they are they are there is there is everywhere you can see the past of is there was not wasn't were not weren't next cannot can't could not couldn't dare not dent had not hadn't might not might must not mustn't need not needn't ought not oughtn't shall not shan't should not shouldn't Use not, usen't, will not, won't, would not, wouldn't. So these are all contracted forms. This is all for today. Thank you.